Hi, uh, welcome to my video on ways to warp a frame loom. I'm going to just show you the three three different ways. First was the single warping, which you want to do if you're using like a really bulky, chunky kind of yarn or different materials. I, I very rarely use this method, but um, it will depend on your project. So with all the warping that I do, I do a double knot on the bottom. Make sure it's tight secured. And with single warping, you're literally just going to go up and down following the grooves. If you're going to use a heddle bar, then you're going to keep the warp string in every alternate groove, as you can see there. And you literally warp to the width of your project, the width that you like. And then I always finish again at the bottom, wrap it around, keep it of an even tension and then do another double knot. And that's, that's it for the single warping. For double warping, which I'll show you now, there are two methods. This method, you literally just repeat step one. So you're going to go straight, you're going to just do exactly the same. So you start again at the bottom, you do another string, tie it off, and you go up and down. If you're going to use a heddle bar, then as you go up and down, you this time feed the warp string into the empty grooves. So every alternate groove that wasn't used before, as you can see, I'm doing there. If you're not using heddle bar, it doesn't matter. You just, again, up and down, up and down. Finish on the bottom, because that's where you're going to cut off. And do a, just a double knot. And make sure the tension is kept consistent throughout as much as you can. So with the last method... This is just a continual double warping. Um, again, a double knot at the bottom. As you can see, I've left um, a groove either side, and that's where I would put some guidelines. I'll show you that in the next. In next. So with this method, as you go up and down, you're always going to go back to the one that you went before. You can see that. So you, you're following the grooves, but every time you go, you 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 go back to where the warp string was before. And again, you, you do the width of your project and tie off at the bottom. Now you can go, the last one, you can go back, repeat the steps, go back. What I do on the last one is I just come straight down so it's, it's in parallel to the, to the frame. With the last two methods, with, this, with the double warping method, you want to do a twining um, just to separate the warp strings and get them evenly spaced. But I'll show you that in the next video. That's pretty easy to do. So what I tend to do, as mentioned, is um, just set up some guidelines, um, which is a completely separate thing. You don't weave them in. They're just there as to, uh, so that you can remember to keep an eye on the width of your weaving as you go along. As I mentioned, when you're warping, you want to keep an even tension, somewhat like a trampoline is, the, is a kind of what you're looking for. Don't worry too much because you can always... Um, increase the tension or loosen it by doing what I've just done there which is rotating the top or bottom bars and that will uh, increase your tension if you need to okay if you have any questions um, leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them thanks for watching